he says that India's success is a success for all humanity. And India was in a race against the Russians, whose mission failed a few days ago. Let's bring in the thoughts of space and planetary scientist Andy Lound, who watched the landing live with us. How would you describe today, Andy? As always with these things, nerve-wracking, exciting, it's everything, really. Um, but they've done it. It's fantastic. And I thought um, Modi's comments about this isn't just a success for India, but this is a success for everybody, I think is very well said. And I think that's quite important to, to put that forward. It, very reminiscent, perhaps, of uh, Richard Nixon when he pointed that out, that this was an important e event for all humanity, and it really is. And it puts India really up there with everybody else now. They're, they're part of the human species exploring and spreading outwards. And that's part of the excitement. The more nations involved, I think the better, because we are a, a species of uh, quite a diverse species. And it's nice to have all the elements of us involved in this. And I think this is wonderful. And just to explain the significance of where they've landed, we've been talking about the ice yeah there in the South Pole, what that means now for future lunar exploration and even a, perhaps a manned base on the moon. It does, because now we've got the robot probe there, they can actually do some of the hard work over the next 14 days, and it's going to be a lot of hard work, making sure the instruments work, find out what the constituents of the material in the regolith, which is the soil, uh, find out how stable the area is, because we'll be looking at whether or not there's moonquakes there or not. I mean, you don't want instability if you're going to build a base there, because that could cause problems. Uh, and finding that critical water ice there. This is going to be the busiest 14 days, probably, yeah. of any little roving vehicle, because we need this data for the future exploration of this, this planetary body. Well, Andy, we have to get you to feature your beautifully made model of the, the moon rover, if you've still got it there. I hope you haven't put it back in the cupboard, um, because of this is what the work not. starts now. Of course, they've got... Well, that's That's the... Uh, the lander, of course, and then you've got this vehicle that goes onto the surface, as we remember, with all these other moon explorations. What's that going to be doing over the next two weeks? Yes, uh, in a couple of hours, literally waiting for the dust to settle from this mission, to let the dust settle down. Um, the rover will drop onto the surface. It'll be got a host of scientific experiments on board where it'll be studying the soil. It'll be taking measurements of the environment as well, which is always quite important. Well, you know what? sort of a, an environment we're in high radiation, low radiation, whatever, and that's important. And that will be supplying that data back to the lander, which will transmit that back to the orbiter, which, was, which is Chandrayaan-2, and that will receive the information back then on Earth. So this little rover now is going to be critical. So we've just had that heart-stopping moment of the landing. The next heart-stopping moment <laughs> is going to be getting the rover off the lander onto the surface. That's the next, going to be the next heart-stopping moment to make sure that actually works, because that's absolutely critical for the success Andy, of the mission. Andy, your excitement is absolutely infectious and it's being replicated around the world right now. Let's just remind ourselves of this landing that happened within the last 40 minutes or so. People are applauding. Let us all wait to hear from the Secretary, Department of Space and Chairman ISRO, Sri S. Somnath. Lander module puri se safely or softly Chandrama ke well, well, land India has hai. landed uh, another moment of uh, history. And uh, Andy, last thought to you, what do you think that uh, the Russians will be making in particular of this, bearing in mind, you know, they led the space race, the first country into yep. space with Gagarin, and now, of course, they failed to India. Well, they, they haven't failed. I say I don't take that view okay. that they failed to India. India achieved something, and, and their vehicle was much more complicated and much more complex vehicle, uh, and therefore theirs happened to fail. Failure is nature of the game. You have to accept that. And you take it on the chin, and then you'll go, they'll go back and work out what went wrong because they were planning Luna 26 and 27 as well. I think it's interesting that they're doing it mostly on their own, whereas originally they were going to be working with the European Space Agency. That sort of fell apart. And I think international cooperation is what's going to be really important here. And I think Russia might want to reflect on that. But having said that, the nature of the government there at the moment isn't internationalistic in that sense. Andy and your beautifully made models, thank you very much indeed for taking us through another moment of space me. history. Thanks very much.